We were introduced to each other through uh, a mutual friend. His name is Gary Kendall. He's actually our uh, fallen member. And uh, Gary was our, he was the senior member of the group. We all looked up to him. He traveled many different circles and met a lot of different people. And, you know, individually he had met each, each one, one of us. And then through him, that's how we became friends. And so fast forward, <clears throat> we get to a space where, you know, we're on these other dance groups. Me and Chris were learning from a dance studio called Culture Shock San Diego. Um, Phil had a studio, um, uh, which is, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Steps. Steps. Was step, step one. Step, step one. one. And so was Joe, that's where he was at when they were in Sacramento. Kevin learned from there too. Um, ben and, uh, and Fee were like in LA dance studios like Millennium and Debbie Reynolds. So we kind of had our own places that we were training at. Even at that time when we were in dance studios and we were learning from other people, we would actually be in a garage sessioning with each other at our friend Sammy's house. Yeah. When we all used to meet up, it was after our rehearsals mm -hmm. at different dance studios, we would meet up at Sammy's garage and just session and vibe out there. So when Kevin actually found Dance Element, like, it wasn't a set rehearsal. It was never like, hey guys, we're having a rehearsal this day. It was always like, after whatever we got done with work or anything, Kevin would just give us a call and be like, hey man, I'm going to the studio if you guys want to come through. And everybody single-handedly would just want to come and just dance and hang out. Yeah, we used to spend a lot of time in the studio, dance element, and, and spend like late hours. The owner, um, she gave me a key. Uh, Cindy Hill and I was able to have access to studio that was like that was like finding gold mm -hmm. for for a dancer you know what I mean it was it, having no distractions of students or anything like that we'd be there from like 12 to like three or four in the morning just like like brainstorming you know making up stuff and uh, that Get was it was a wonderful time. I believe I, I hold that really close to my heart is when we were first developing this yeah. thing, you know, because it was like there was no separate each person. one of us was a pioneer. We had so many years of experience of dance, and there was like open terrain. Feels like I'm going over here to check these mountains out. He's like, I'm gonna go check out these babbling brooks over here, and I'm like, well, I'm gonna go check out and see where those horses are running off to, and we would just go and build and stake our claims and we would just collect territory. The group that me and Raymond was a part of is, uh, they, they would throw these uh, shows called Showcase, uh, Choreographer Showcase. And our first year when we did it was uh, in 03. We didn't have like a set schedule or anything like that, a rehearsal schedule. So going back to that, like we would like, okay, we have this show, you guys down to do it? All right, yeah, yeah, I'm down. But since we all lived in different places, People would have to drive out and like, you know, like they we would only get like three days with them. So it's like we probably would only have like three, three to four days to probably try to get ready for a shot. Two of those days yeah. was just this is before you know. Yeah. Yeah, but then like <laughs> we've always just worked well together since like yeah. the beginning of that time. And I mean it it like gotten us this far. We would only do one show a year and it was always at that showcase until uh, uh, it was 03 all the way up to 06. And then after that, that's when I would say, like that was like our early stages of, you know, Jabberwockies, like when I guess we were kind of like brewing it up and like, you know, learning how to, I guess like work with each other. And, you know, we got like all the kinks and all the uglies out and like by after 06, I think that's when we kind of started pursuing it. Like LA, I would mm -hmm. say, and then that would be like our early stages of, like Trying just to even dance life yeah. career, you know? <laughs> Funny stories like, so 03 to 06 was, you know, us amateur stages and then 06 to like 07 was us trying to find a job. And then 08, we nailed ABDC, which- We're working for world domination. <laughs> <laughs> Drop, 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 drop.